Hi everyone, thank you for coming onto my channel. This is my first ever video. Um, so I hope it goes all right because I want to start making a series of all different creative ideas for you to do indoors. Um, first of all, um, I wanted to do some collage faces. As you'll see by looking through my book that I've been um, working on, I've been making some um, faces and doing a little diary, journaling some of the stuff that's been going on. We're basically in lockdown because of the coronavirus at the minute in Barcelona. So I kind of wanted to um, make a little book. This is book, this book is from Hobbycraft. Uh, I think they still do them in there actually. They do them in black and gold and silver, I think. Um, I've had this for ages, but never um, put anything in it. So now's the time. Um, I've got lots of blank pages left. So yeah, I wanted to create some, um, some I've wanted to do college for ages, but I always put it off. And now I've got so much time on my hands. Um, being two weeks locked in um, I wanted to make a collage face so I found a, a magazine just across the road in the little magazine shop and I wanted to cut out some faces I wanted to find one with a lot of faces so like a makeup magazine or fashion magazine or something so I found a few faces that I liked um, and started cutting them out so this is the one I chose first of all to do this one I'm just going to stick her in the middle here I'm um, just using like Pritt stick normal glue um, the idea behind this is to just kind of reconnect with your inner child and do some artwork that doesn't need to be perfect and you can just kind of freestyle this do whatever you want just from your imagination there's no right or wrong I mean she can have five eyes ten lips you know there's she can look scary or she can look beautiful she can look however you want with the final piece so she's stuck on now uh, I'm gonna get my paints so my favourite paints that I always, always use are um, called Amsterdam Acrylics. So here's some that I've already put on my palette. Um, I sped this up, so it's gone a bit fast forward, but um, I've put the names of the paints below. The reason I like Amsterdam Acrylics is they're just so, um, the consistency is really nice. I really like the colours. Um, yeah, just, just a really nice a really lovely paint so I'm just going to start putting it on wherever really there's no I mean I didn't really have an idea to start out with where I wanted what I wanted to do or how I wanted this to look like I'm just going with whatever I want to do at the time which I, I always work like that um, and I'm going to decided to cut out some other little bits of faces to um, make this face a little bit more interesting so I'm going to give her a few more eyes cut out some other little bits you can just add things as you go along um, and also for kids if you're doing this with children if you've got children's magazines um, you know you can do this with cartoon faces animal faces um, you can make like yeah some crazy character you can tell them to make it into a superhero and they can name it at the end and list all your superpowers and make their own little characters and then you can cut these out and you can put them on the wall or you can stick them onto like um, toilet roll tubes and, and give them arms and legs and like you can make proper little characters for them so you can be a bit more creative with the children's um, well, you can with your own as well if you wanted to. But I'm just going to leave this in my book and hopefully try and fill up my whole book full of um, different characters and get better as they go along. So back to what I said about Amsterdam Acrylics. Yeah, I really like these. They've just got such a good consistency. Um, I feel especially the dark colours cover really well, but they've also got these really lovely colours like um, that turquoise um, that I've used. It's probably one of my favourite, well, it is probably my favourite colour, turquoise. And um, they've got a really nice range of turquoises. Um, I just find them great for, I use a lot of, when I paint my portraits, I use them for textures, like 3D kind of textures. Um, and they just, yeah, I just really, really like them. They're my favourite and they're easy to get here in Spain. Um, so I'm just gonna give her like some kind of little leafy necklace thing, or maybe it's part of her dress, I don't know. Add some more details to it. I've mixed this with the white. 
now I'm just going to start adding um, some of those details. So you can use whatever you've got around the house. I'm using these pens. They're Amsterdam acrylic again, marker pens. Again, the turquoises that I like and are white. And I've also got this gold pen that I just got from a stationery shop. It's quite nice. Like it's quite liquidy and metallic, so that will look nice on top. So I'm just going to add details wherever I think to do with some. Um, sometimes I prefer to just go simpler. Um, I'll show you another one at, my, uh, at the end that I've done, which is a lot simpler. It looks cool too, but for this, I think I'm just going to go crazy with details just to show you, you know, what you can do. Um, I'm just going to do little outlines around her face, around her eyes, around all the eyes, all five of her eyes. And bring it around her hair, around her chin, around her lips. Kind of, if you've ever seen continuous line drawing, it's kind of a bit like that, although I am actually taking my pen off the, off the face, but it kind of has that style. I'm going to bring that right down in the hair as well to make her look a bit crazy really Like I said, if you're trying this with kids, endless possibilities. You can do it with with real faces like this. It doesn't have to be women, obviously. It can be men, children, or there's loads of cool cartoon faces um, and kids' magazines and, like, Lego heads. There was a, a magazine I was looking at the other day and the, the two biggest faces on it, these two big, cool Lego heads, and you can make so much cool stuff with them. So that's that. I think I'm going to leave it there because I've just made it look crazy but here's another one I started on as well it's a bit simpler so I've just done these like big brush strokes um, of colour and just used eye eye two eyes a mouth and a lips so although it kind of has a slanted eye it looks a bit more normal if you'd say that but yeah a bit more simple I'm just going to outline the eye I think with a bit of white and maybe just leave it there so this is just a really fun activity to do if you're at home you don't really need much much other than like an old magazine um, and if you haven't got any magazines with big faces on, you can just kind of make faces out of other objects you find. You can find things that look like eyes, or you can just paint them up the eye and maybe use the, if you've got like a gardening magazine, you could use the garden as the background face and cut it into a face shape and then paint an eye and a mouth and a nose over the top. So it's just a chance for you to kind of, yeah, get creative, no rights and wrongs, things you can do with your kids as well and um, release your inner child and yeah, get making enjoy thank you everyone for looking at my page it's my first video so i hope it was okay i'm going to start making more so see you soon